My name is Alan Schoenfeld. I'm a professor in the Graduate School of Education and the Department of Mathematics at UC Berkeley, where I've been since 1985. For the past 10 years or so, my graduate students and I, in collaboration with school districts and some other partners, have been working on the problem of what has sometimes been called ambitious or powerful or robust instruction. The serious question is, what do we need to know in order to help teachers create classrooms from which students emerge as knowledgeable, resourceful, flexible thinkers and problem solvers. Now that's the big question. The first part to that was asking, what are all the components of such powerful classrooms? The problem is there are too many of them to try to address them all. So the second question was, can we distill all those things down to a small number of things that teachers can pay attention to, call them the dimensions of powerful instruction, and the better each of those gets, the more powerfully the students emerge as thinkers and problem solvers. And then once we understand that, can we build tools to help teachers do that? The answers to those questions are yes, and we're working on it, and now let me tell you about them. The framework is called Teaching for Robust Understanding, T-R-U, or TRUE, <clears throat> and the TRUE framework says that there are five dimensions to powerful classrooms. The better things go along those dimensions, the more students will emerge as knowledgeable, resourceful thinkers and problem solvers. The first dimension, not surprisingly, is the content. The richer the content, the more students are likely to know. That almost goes without saying. But the issue is, it's not just the content alone. I've been in lectures where the content was absolutely beautiful and I didn't understand very much of it. The real question is, how much sense do the students make of the content? What opportunities are there for sense making, for students to dig their teeth into the content, to engage in what we call productive struggle? That's the second dimension of powerful classrooms the opportunity for what's called cognitive demand, where students are working at a level where they can really engage and do sense making. Dimension three is about equity. A classroom isn't powerful unless every single student has the opportunity to engage with the core content of the lesson, to really get in there and dig into what's meaningful in the content. Classrooms in which some students are excluded or some are doing the real work and some are doing other stuff are not that powerful. We want every student to have the opportunity to engage meaningfully. But even that's not enough because you meet students who say, I'm not a math person, I'm not a science person, I'm not a reader. What happens in our classrooms is students decide whether and how they wish to engage with the instruction. And what we want is for students to emerge from our classrooms, thinking themselves as students who have a sense of agency, I can do this, and thinking of themselves as people who have a strong disciplinary identity. I think like a scientist, I think like a historian, I think like a math person. That's the dimension of agency and identity, dimension four of the true framework. Now the question is, how is all of this going to happen? And the answer is, the teacher needs to be able to hear what students think and know 
and adjust instruction accordingly. That's called formative assessment. So if the content is rich, the students get to engage. They get, they get to put forth ideas, to build on each other's ideas. They can build positive identities with the teacher adjusting the level of instruction so that it's right for the students to engage productively. That's the true framework. The five things that count are <clears throat> the richness of the content, the degree to which students engage, get to engage productively, the fact that we're talking about all students engaging in a way that they can build agency and a sense of disciplinary identity, and all of that happening in ways that the instruction adjusts to where the students are. If things go, go well along those five dimensions, the students will emerge as powerful thinkers. That's the true framework. You can find out a lot more about it and you can see the tools we built to help teachers and school districts at our website.